to talk about what I, I'm sure is the Hindu's most important contribution to, to science. It's the Hindu Arabic number system. So this is our system that we use today to represent numbers, to do multiplication, does not take a PhD in mathematics to make that calculation. But a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, you probably would have required something like an equivalent of a PhD to make a calculation like that. Because in almost all of the other number systems, doing arithmetic was very, very cumbersome. It's really, this is such an important development um, that uh, I want to really emphasize this point. Okay, so what kind of number systems had been around before that? What, well, the Egyptians used some kind of hieroglyphics, one, two, three, and then they had various symbols for things. Uh, the Greeks ended up, they had different systems also, but they ended up uh, assigning, you know, I don't know what, what, what exactly it was, but they had Greek letters representing uh, different numbers, including numbers for 10 and 20 and 100, so there would be you know, various Greek letters. Uh, there's not these ones, but some ones. Okay. And then if they, if they uh, wanted to write something, they would have to sort of, you know, 2 times 20, and then 3 times 100. Thousands were represented by some kind of dash that you put somewhere. Okay. Uh, it was all very cumbersome. Of course, we know the Romans uh, gave us, you know, this, this system here, which lasted for a, a long time. It was also essentially hieroglyphic. One, two, three are like this, and then five, the Romans used this hand sync signal, you know, one, two, three, four, that was four, that was five. And from the V that the, the thumb forms, that's where the, the five comes from. Okay, so if you want to do, uh, if you want to teach a young person how to do multiplication with Roman numerals, you will find it very challenging. It's very hard to, to explain what goes on. You can't do it sort of systematically because the, the, the numbering system is not very systematic. The Chinese had also a system. Um, they had counting, sort of counting boards or counting tablets. Uh, abacus eventually uh, was an important tool for doing uh, computation. And no doubt there might have been some, uh, some connection uh, between the Chinese and the Indians. But in any case, around the year 600, we don't know exactly when, around the year 600, the, the Hindus developed this, this system where they used the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then in the next couple of hundred years, around 800, they, they developed the system that we now use where the place of the, uh, the digit uh, denotes the power of 10. And that required an important innovation that they didn't have around 600. That requires a separate symbol for zero. So when we write uh, 405, this means five ones, zero tens, four hundreds. You have to have the idea that there's going to be an empty place, and you've got to put something in that empty place other, so, so as not to get confused with 45. And nowadays it seems like a very inconsequential thing to us, but it was an incredibly important advance that we're going to actually have a symbol for zero. We're not just going to leave it blank. We're going to write something down that's going to represent zero that allows us now to have a, a, a proper place for every power of 10. That is such an important advance in, in, in the history of science. I can't think of anything, not development of calculus or, or uh, you know, Einstein's theory of relativity or quantum mechanics. Nothing else comes close, in my view, to the importance of this in terms of our modern world. Because it allows young people to learn how to manipulate quantities, 
to understand quantities and to be able to manipulate them. So we don't actually know who was responsible. It, it probably a lot of people um, contributed. I've heard theories that the, the language, Sanskrit, is naturally, somehow naturally, uh, makes this a very natural thing to do, which, which very well could, could be. Uh. But the, this, this system uh, was taken over by the Arabs, or adopted by the Arabs, and so their, 